in this video, we are going to cover the 1980 nickel and what the coin is actually worth. Now, there are tons that are worth only face value, but I'm going to show you nickels that are worth more than their face value. All that and more coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Couch Collectibles. My name is Justin, and today we are looking at valuable 1980 nickels. Don't forget, we're going to be coin roll hunting live on the live stream tonight, so if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you subscribe, press that bell, it will send a notification, and let you guys know exactly when I'm live. That way you guys can be the first one in on the live chat. All right, now without further ado, guys, let's just hop into this video and check out this first coin. All right, so this isn't the most valuable nickel out there, but... Hey, it's worth more than its face value. I can definitely see a broad strike error coin like this, you know, being passed up in circulation. You know, the typical person isn't always looking at their pocket change. So if someone found something like this, you know, they'd definitely probably be searching for it. But obviously you can see that error taking place all around the rim of the coin there. This coin here sold for over $25. Now I know a lot of people were commenting saying, hey, if a coin's only worth 30 bucks, you probably shouldn't pay to get it graded. I definitely agree. If you have a coin, that's only worth 25 30 bucks i personally wouldn't get it graded but some people don't know what they're worth so if you want to know what your coin is actually worth make sure you guys go join those coin collecting facebook groups post your images there and you guys will get a lot of advice this next coin is a 1980 nickel that is off center now this coin isn't extremely valuable either you think it would be looking at it you know just like oh that's unique like how often does someone come across an off center nickel well this thing only sold for $25. So not very valuable again, but it's something you could sell on eBay without it being graded and you only got it for a nickel, you made a pretty good profit. Next up is a 1980 Jefferson nickel that is struck on a damaged one cent blank patient. So what that means is that this coin was struck on a penny and it's got damage there on the coin, but this coin here sold for over $165. Now this next coin is a another nickel that was struck on a one cent planchet. So what that means again is that the nickel was struck on a penny. There's a lot of these out here guys so watch out for these. Obviously you can see by the color, the tone of the coin and the whole design of the Jefferson nickel obviously does not fit on this coin because a penny was made to be on it. If you got a scale you can weigh it. This weighs 3.06 grams. A nickel is uh, going to weigh more than that. It is damaged but it does still have some value. This coin here sold for over $100. And $25. Next up is kind of combining two types of errors. So there's two different errors here. One that it's a 1980 Jefferson nickel that is struck on a penny, a one cent planchet, and it's actually struck 20% off center. So that's pretty cool with that error there. Now believe it or not, you look at one that was only $125. This one here sold for over $1,000. $800. And here's just another example of one that isn't as valuable as that one, but it's still still very valuable. This sold for over $890. And again, it is 10% uh, off center, and it is a Jefferson nickel struck on a one cent planchet. Moving on to a very interesting error. Now, someone may think that someone just cut this thing in half and damaged it, but this is actually a ratchet clipped error on the 1980 Jefferson nickel. Not extremely valuable or nothing like that, but it's still sold for over $40. Moving on to my favorite coin of this video. This is a 1980 Jefferson nickel overstruck on a 1980. The Philadelphia minted Roosevelt dime. Man, this is uh, what I always say I'd love to have in my collection. I love this thing. You can obviously see there on the front of the coin the obverse. It has the Jefferson nickel obverse design with the reverse of the Roosevelt dime. And then if we look there on the reverse, you could see the head of Roosevelt from the obverse of the dime and then the reverse of the Jefferson nickel. Hey guys, let me know how you guys like this camera. I switched cameras up for this video. So let me know if you like it. Let me know right now in the comments below. And also guys, click that bell. It will send a notification and notify you guys when I am live streaming. I don't want you guys to miss out on that. So until then, this is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.